Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Simon, <coughs> Chair of the Florida Council on Economic Education. We're here to kick off the Require the Money Course campaign, which is a campaign to bring about a full semester course on personal finance in Florida's public schools. What a lot of people don't realize is that financial illiteracy is a hidden crisis here in the state of Florida and throughout the United States. Most people don't know that personal bankruptcies have increased 200, 20, excuse me, 2200 percent over the last 40 years. And foreclosures have increased 650 percent over the last 30 years. This is a crisis. This impacts lives. And a big part of the reason folks are getting into financial hot water is because they don't understand the complexities of the financial products and the financial um, issues that affect them day in and day out because they're not prepared. They're not taught this information in public schools. They're not taught this information in college. The need for a personal finance course has never been greater. If we want young Floridians to be well prepared and to succeed in life, they need the fundamentals of personal finance. Students are coming out of college today with an average of $30,000 in student loan debt and credit card debt. That's before they get their first job. They need to understand what it takes to pay that debt, perhaps how they could have avoided that debt. They need the tools to be successful Floridians. And without a course in, in public schools, it's very hard to get that information. Very often their parents don't know. They may be under financial stress. And very often their educators, their teachers, don't know this information. 90% of the educators in America believe that teaching personal finance should be a requirement for graduating high school. But when you ask those same teachers whether they can teach that course, less than 20% know what it takes to teach personal finance. That's why we need to prepare Florida's teachers to teach this subject matter so that their students can go on to become successful citizens and successful Floridians. We have a group of speakers here today who are playing an important role in all of this. <clears throat> I'll just read you a quick list. Representative Heather Fitzenhagen, uh, Lanny Page, who was a senior at Lawton, Highs Child, Lawton, Highs, Chise, Lawton Childs High School here in Tallahassee, uh, Pat Kern, who's an AP economics teacher at Terry Parker High School in Jacksonville, Rep Representative Brian Avila, Representative Larry Ahern, uh, I'd like to recognize these folks, uh, Neil Comby, Anthony DeMarco, Vice President of Government Relations from Florida Bankers, Amy Diaz-Leon, uh, Business Law Section of the Florida Bar, Jared Ross, Senior VP of Government Affairs with the League of Southern Credit, Southeastern Credit Unions and Affiliates, Alice Vickers, Executive Director of the Florida Alliance for Consumer Protection, uh, the Florida Chamber of Commerce, uh, Brewster Beavis, Associated Industries of Florida, and Tim Nungesser from the National Federation of independent businesses. At this point, I'd like to introduce Representative Heather Fitzenhagen, who is sponsoring the legislation in the Florida House of Representatives. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Um, I'm Heather Fitzenhagen, District 78 representative, and I am very happy to be here and see so much support for the money course. The time is right for us to do this for our kids. We can't afford not to make the investment in the money course for our kids. Uh, it is so critical that we give them the tools that they need to be successful rather than leave them adrift without any ability to understand personal finance. We spend so much money each and every day investing in our child's education. So for us not to make the added investment so that they know what to do when they get out and get their first credit card solicitation or buy their first car or rent their first apartment, that would be a travesty. So I am so glad to have so many people here in support. And what's exciting is the support continues to grow. For example, um, I have the Junior League here uh, in support today. And they have 11,000 members, and they've made it their number one legislative priority for this session. And I'm very proud of that. Every day I get new co-sponsors on this bill to just to show how much support there is. We have over 30 co-sponsors and we've got some um, folks that just joined us here. We've got Representative Alan Williams. We have Representative Ray Pilon also. So it, there's a tremendous momentum building to get this bill done. And uh, I know without a doubt that we will and every business in Florida and every parent in Florida 
and eventually every high school in Florida will thank us for our hard work. So thank you for your support and thank you for being here and let's get the money course done this session. Representative Ahern, if you'd like to give us a few comments. Thank you and uh, very happy to be a co-sponsor of this bill for all the obvious reasons, but you know, there's, a, there's even a radio show uh, that I listen to called the Dave Ramsey Show. And I'm sure he's probably would be smiling to know uh, that we're going to require this as part of the curriculum now that would give our, our children in, in school the tools they need uh, to hopefully avoid some of the pitfalls uh, that, that going through life, you know, making mistakes financially can cost you. So it's pretty exciting that uh, uh, we've got a bill and a great sponsor for it uh, to, to bring this uh, to light. I mean, the economics of our, uh, of our free market workplace almost require something like this to be successful. So it's just another good reason to uh, go to school here in Florida, and I'm looking forward to the passage of this bill. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce a senior at Lawton Childs High School. Her name is Lainey Page. First time she's ever been at a press conference. But this is an important issue, and she thought it was important that she give you her perspective and the student's perspective on personal finance. In four months, I will be attending the University of Central Florida, where I will be double majoring in biology and writing. As of right now, I have a small window of time to understand any sort of financial literacy. Going out of the economics with financial literacy class that is already required for graduation. To be honest, I've completed the course and I don't know anything. I know how the government ha interacts with the economy, but as a person, as an individual, I do not know how I am supposed to. I do not know how to take out a credit card or what to look for in a credit card. When I eventually will have to take out student loans, I do not know what to look for or how to begin paying off these loans without accruing debt that has already, student has already risen to one trillion dollars in this country and I do not hope to be a part of this statistic entering, exiting college and not worried about my career but how to pay off money. I want to know how to build credit and to buy a home without having monstrous mortgage rates <laughs> and absolutely being scared for the future. Right now, I need to be prepared for the future because this is my moment to know how to enter the adult world and how to be integrated into being an adult. But I'm not prepared at all. And I speak with my friends very constantly on this subject and that's why I was very excited to speak at this press conference to talk for the students because I, as well as my other peers, have no idea how to enter these next few months as college students and as adults. And it's very important that we understand how the economy works and how we are to affect and impact it in the future. Now I'd like to introduce someone who, who, who's really a leader in this area. He's been teaching economics at the high school level for over 30 years. And he has, he has seen it evolve and he's seen the struggles that educators have trying to get this course material into the public schools, but he's also seen the impact that it has had on students who get it. It's, his name is Pat Curran. He is an AP economics teacher at Terry Parker High School and he's come all the way from Jacksonville. Pat? Every morning, I walk into my classroom at 6 a.m. My students show up at 7.15. Every day we have a challenge because we have financial literacy and economics in one course. I see my students 44 times for 90 minutes. Right now, I can't do any of it justice. So I find a way to make it work. There's something about a kid who learns how to buy a car. I was telling Jeff before we started today, I did a lesson with my students two weeks ago. And one of my students came back after we did the lesson and said that he went with his aunt. His aunt was purchasing a car for the first time. He came back in and said, everything that I learned last Friday, we used. My aunt walked in, she had a loan already, she could negotiate, and she learned that she could walk away. When my kids come to me, I ask them what they know. Most of them think they know a lot. 
and I just kind of laugh. But by the time they get done, I make sure that they can at least walk out the door and function. Credit cards, loans, comparison shopping, all that is part of financial literacy. And we can't do enough to get them ready. Because the more debt that they have, they lower their own income in their disposable income. Thank you, Pat. Uh, I'd like to introduce Anthony DiMarco, who is Executive Vice President of the Florida Bankers Association, a supporter of this legislation. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for having me. I represent Fitz and Hagen et al. Uh, we think uh, the Florida Bankers Association thinks financial literacy is very important. Uh, we want to put the right people in the right uh, banking products, financial products. If we can help them do that, if they come in with the knowledge, they can make sure they go to the right people, to the right places, and to the, and to the right products. If, when people have financial difficulties, which they can get themselves into, they are not as effective in, in the workforce or helping other people doing what they need to be doing and they're, because they're consumed, their mind and time is consumed with the, the, the issues they have financially. So we think this is a great idea. We hope it uh, goes forward this year and passes. We think it's the best thing, one of the best things that we could do for Floridian students and the future of our state. So thank you for following us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Jared Ross, who is uh, Senior Vice President of Government Affairs for the League of Southeastern Credit Unions and Affiliates. Thank you for having me, and I want to thank Representative Fitzenhagen and Senator Huckel for filing this important legislation. Uh, the credit unions believe that a successful life begins with successful finances, and that starts very young. Uh, getting out of high school, not knowing what to do, is, as the student spoke about, is, is a scary proposition, and I remember being in that proposition, and that's why credit unions support this legislation. We offer a lot, of, uh, a lot of financial literacy already. It goes right hand in hand with the credit union philosophy of people helping people. And we wanna make sure that we can do whatever we can to partner with the state of Florida, with our legislature, to make sure that whatever is passed, that we can help make sure that we are helping our students be successful and be a, a, an important part of our society. So again, we thank you for letting us be a partner on this legislation and whatever we in the credit union industry can do to help, we're there for you and uh, look forward to working with you to pass this important legislation. Thank you. Thank you. And the importance of this legislation can't be uh, overstated. And it's also important to realize this is bipartisan legislation. We have a number of other representatives who've come here today who'd also like to share a few comments. Uh, first of all, Alan Williams, state representative uh, from here in Tallahassee. Uh, what's important about this piece of legislation is that, as I said, it's, uh, it's about our children. It's about preparing them for the future. Obviously, we've taken a lot of steps on college campuses where you, know, you can't get the T-shirt and fill out the application anymore. But we have to do even more at the high school level because we know a lot of our children don't go to college. And we have to give them every tool necessary to hit the ground running once they leave mom and dad's house. Uh, one of the things I did when I first came to this legislature was create the Prosperity Caucus, which brought together Republicans and Democrats around issues similar to this and working with the chief financial officer at the time. Uh, just recently, I came back from a global financial summit uh, that was held in Atlanta. It had thought leaders from across the world uh, partner up with John Hope Bryant, uh, who was a leader on this, who's been appointed by multiple presidents, who says that financial literacy is really the true uh, civil rights issue, and has even coined the phrase silver rights as opposed to civil rights. And as we celebrate uh, the 50th anniversary of the march in Selma, uh, what better way to do it here in Florida than to pass uh, this financial literacy bill to give our children, our students, our babies, uh, the opportunity to get hit the ground running uh, on the silver rights of their life. I stand with Representative Fitzenhagen and Senator Huckel and my colleagues in supporting this great legislation and encouraging other members, both Republicans and Democrats, to join in. This is not a blue or red issue. It's a green issue. It's about money. It's about supporting this good bill. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. And if there are any other representatives who'd like to speak on this matter, please. Thank you. 
I think they're tired of hearing all these uh, politicos talk. Never give a p politician a microphone. So. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ray Pilon from uh, Sarasota, uh, and I just have a little story about uh, my term in high school, which was about, I think, 150 years ago, but uh, 200 maybe, <laughs> Alan says, uh, in, in Michigan, and it's surprising. We've come full circle. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, we actually had financial literacy classes that were aimed particularly at this same subject. Uh, I guess that's why I don't have a lot of debt. No, that's true, we all have debt, but uh, it, really did, it really did impact us. And it wasn't just for, for those uh, in what we call those days preparation for college. It was for uh, those going into business and those going into skilled works. Uh, and we all took it, and I just, I remember it well, and I'm, that's why I'm so proud to be a co-sponsor of this and join our colleagues on both sides of the aisle and support it. So thank you all. Representative Brian Avila from Hialeah, and uh, I want to thank uh, Heather, um, Representative Fittenhagen again and all the members and the groups that, uh, that are here in support of the bill. Uh, I think it's important that we focus on today, but we also need a uh, plan for tomorrow. I think this legislation, it gives our students the tools to become successful and to be responsible adults. I'm very excited to be uh, to be here and to support this bill, and uh, thank you again. Thank you. Yes. You please. Good afternoon, Rebecca Delarosa, representing the junior leagues uh, throughout the state of Florida. Uh, as Representative Fitzenhagen had stated earlier, uh, we are uh, members, uh, 11,000 members uh, statewide, and uh, we have chosen financial literacy as our uh, number one priority this legislative session to advocate for uh, throughout our schools, and uh, we all are very excited to participate, so thank you very much. As you can see, we have some very broad support. You have business support, we have great legislative support, and the Junior League. You don't want to go up against 11,000 <laughs> members of the Junior League. Are there any other folks from the business community who would like to make a couple of comments? Sure, I would, I would be happy to. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> My name is Bruce Rebevis. I'm Senior Vice President of State and Federal Affairs at Associated Industries of Florida. And thank, thank you for allowing me and, and AIF's members to support this piece of legislation and take part in today's press conference. You know, we think this piece of legislation will be instrumental in teaching our students who are Florida's future business leaders and workforce financial literacy. There's not a better way to enter the workforce and enter your, the, your career than knowing financial literacy and knowing what you can and you cannot do with money. So we think this is going to be an excellent course for students. We think this is going to better Florida's workforce environment and better uh, uh, prepare our students to enter that workforce environment. You know, I, I, I wish this, this piece of legislation was around when I was in school. I think it would have done me a tremendous amount of good. I'll be honest, I think my wife would probably want me to take this piece, uh, this, this course now. Um, so I think I might need to go back and, and, and look at that. But thank you all for bringing this forward, and AIF is, is proud to participate and support this piece of legislation. Thank you. So, as, as I've said, there's tremendous support behind this, and I cannot thank Representative Fitzenhagen enough for her leadership and her vision on this bill. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming, and, and uh, as you can see, the momentum is building, and um, I'm, I regrettably, uh, Senator Huckel couldn't be here today, but she is uh, spiriting this bill through the Senate, and we are going to be working together to get this done. We appreciate all your support and hope that uh, Anyone that hears about this will contact uh, their state representative or their senator and let them know just how important this is to our children in Florida. Thank you so very much.